Hello and welcome to A Very English Craft Room Christmas Crafts Video 2 Today we're going to look at making penguin tree decorations For this you will need felt in various different colours, the colours of your choice um, some pom-poms if you have them available and some little googly eyes if you have them available or you could use felt for the eyes or draw them on I also use some glitter glue and some thread to make the hanger. So first of all cutting out the template to make the penguin's body in black and then just drawing round the template now with tailor chalk on black felt and then cutting it out. You could make this simpler by omitting the flippers and just making like an egg shape um, and you could even maybe stick some flippers on later if you wanted to. So next I'm going to take some white felt and cut out the white part of the penguin's body. Again I've got a pre-made template which I simply drew freehand earlier. So just trying to place it on the felt to get maximum use from the felt. Again using the tailor's chalk just to trace around the edge and now cutting it out with my scissors. So next I'm going to cut out the penguin's flippers and beak using the orange. Um, I had an edge there that I'd used pinking shears on so that gave a nice ideal zigzag edging for the bottom of the penguin's flippers and I simply cut out some triangular shapes for those. You'll see that they're a little bit uneven so I tidy them up later. And a little triangular shape which I round off the edges for its beak. So just placing them on just to see that I've got the right sort of scale for them. So here you can see I'm just trimming off the edges just to give the beak a little bit more definition. So placing the eyes to decide which of the googly eyes I want to use and now using the blue felt or any other colour of your choice I'm going to make the scarf for the penguin so you'll see I just measured the width of the penguin's neck there and now freehand I'm just going to draw a slight curved line for the bit of the scarf that's round his neck and then I'm going to have the two trailing edges just sticking down um, this will be the wrong side that you're seeing now so you won't see the penned um, outlines here when you've actually stuck it onto the penguin. So now I'm just going to cut that out as before. If you're doing this with smaller children I would advise that you do the cutting out for them um, if they haven't got scissor skills yet. So now just lining everything up just to make sure I'm happy with everything I've cut out and then soon it will be time to start sticking everything down. So I'm just using an all-purpose craft glue here just to stick the penguin's face and belly down onto the black background. Next I'm going to stick his scarf on and I'm going to add a couple of little blue pom-poms to the bottom of his scarf as you've just seen there. Now I'm sticking his little beak on and then it will be time for his eyes. A little bit of glue and now ready for the googly eyes. I decided to use the ones with the uh, sort of eye makeup um, on its lids just to give a little bit extra character. This I just decided it wanted to stick to my finger rather than to the penguin so that took a little bit of sticking down. So we're almost finished here but uh, I noticed I got a little bit of a splodge of glue by one of the uh, baubles there so I decided to cover that up by making him a little present to give somebody at Christmas. So there's a little square of orange and I'm going to make the ribbons with this bit of blue that matches his scarf. So a little bit of glue on there, place it on and then trim it off. And then repeat the process with the one that goes the other way. Again, stick it on and trim it off. Then I'm going to add a little bit of glue onto where I'd made the mistake before and place the present in place. So now I'm going to stick on his little flippers, one and the second one. Again they're not quite matching so I do take them off, give it a little bit of a trim again and stick it back down and I'm much happier with it now. So now I'm going to make the hanger to hang it from the tree. So I've got some silver thread here um, and I'm just going to stitch that onto his head and make a little loop ready to hang him onto the Christmas tree. Again, this is where the children might need a little bit of assistance. Um, so you may need to do a little bit of stitching for them. 
So we're almost finished here, just fastening off there and now I'm using the glitter glue to write the name of the recipient of this bauble. So I'm going to do baubles for various members of the family over the series of Christmas decoration videos. So here I've put Kate and the year 2020. On the one I made before I decided I would actually use some white pen to write Emily and 2020 on and I felt this penguin hadn't got a present so maybe it could have a nice little snowball. So I got another little pom-pom out of the set that I got from Amazon. The little googly eyes were in the same set as that. So here's the two finished penguins. Thank you for watching. Please click on the like and subscribe button so you'll be notified when the next video is available from a very English craft room.